the title of this painting, Nave Nave Mahana, which appears at the bottom of the canvas, means delicious days in the Tahitian language of the Maori. A group of mysterious young girls congregate under the trees. Their faces are serious. Their feet are anchored solidly to the red ground. Through the trees, the sky is yellow. The immobility and monumentality of these figures The stylization of the forms, the rhythm of elements in a frieze-like pattern, recall what are known as primitive representations. This painting was completed in 1896 during Gauguin's time in Tahiti. Gauguin wrote of the work in his journal. The principal figure will be a woman who is turning into a statue. She is still alive and yet becoming an idol. She stands out before a group of trees, trees that do not grow on earth but in paradise. From all over, fragrant flowers emerge, children are playing with each other in the garden, young women are gathering fruit. The atmosphere of the painting must be serious, similar to that of a religious scene. True to his plan, Gauguin painted an ambiguous image that echoes parts of his own experience in Polynesia. However, despite the paradisical landscape and warm colour palette, the painting exudes an atmosphere that is far from carefree. Working on the periphery of Impressionism, Gauguin was one of the artists of his generation to exert a lasting influence on 20th century painters. In 1913, when this work entered the Museum of Fine Arts of Lyon's collections, it was the first Gauguin to be purchased by a French museum. At that time, Gauguin's painting was not always well received, either by the public or by art connoisseurs. 